Hey, it's Jess from Head to Toe Health. I'm gonna go through some postural taping with Griffith's Active Tape. So this is a bi-directional tape, different to your normal kinesiology tape. So what we're gonna do is take off the first five centimeters of the backing. And this section goes just around the clavicle. So from the clavicle down or the collarbone down on one side, and then just leave it hanging over the shoulder. The other side, same, so about five centimeters just starting that strip here from the collarbone. So the collarbone sits across there. Okay. And then just stripping back the paper, keeping off the skin. And then from this point, taking about a 20% stretch into the tape, I'm gonna pull back, almost back directly behind the patient. Squeeze together for me there and down. That's it, so get them to shorten the area that we're gonna take. So they're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together and down, predominantly down, and hold that position. So we're gonna take the tape in that stretch state across the spine, and then we're gonna put that down onto the skin. Then from that point, we are the last five centimeters, we're gonna put that directly on the skin without any stretch on it. So these two anchor points have no stretch, they're about five centimeters in length, and then the middle section, that's with about your 20% stretch. So the point where we cross the tape over is the most significant bend in the spine. So here we don't have a huge bend in the spine. There's no significant area that stands out, but for some people it might be a bit higher, a bit lower. That's where we try and make the cross through there. So just contract again through there, that's it. And then another, again, another 20%. So you try and start back down a bit further back towards the back of the patient and then bring it across. So that'll reduce any friction that you might get through the skin there. So I try and place this meeting point just right on the spine and then the lower meeting point right on the spine again. And then let that last five centimeters go straight onto the skin. Make sure you get some heat into the tape because the heat activates the adhesive. So that's really important. And then if we need the cross strip, we're going to put again another five centimeters at each end. This one, we're going to do a bit more like a band-aid. So you're stripping the middle of the backing off with five centimeters at each end. So this one here, this is more of a rhomboid strip. So it's just squeezed together there for me. So this is more of a squeeze together as opposed to down. Just make sure that that lower tape there is, is strong. So from this point, we're gonna just hit the middle directly over the spine. So you might need it a bit higher up towards the top of the shoulder blades, middle or lower. And then just placing the tape on. This can be a bit of a muck around this piece. So again, the middle is under about 20% stretch and then the outside anchor points are straight onto the skin. So again, heat's activating the adhesive. So make sure you get some heat into that. Obviously the person's natural body temperature will heat that up over the next 20 to 30 minutes. The important thing about, about selecting this, the length of the tape is that we don't want this anchor point to go across the crease here because it will tend to, when the patient moves the shoulders forward and reaches forward, it'll tend to strip, strip off there. Um, so we wanna make sure it's inside that range. If it's too long when you measure it up and you imagine that 20% longer there, then just cut it a bit shorter. Um, so that can stay on for five to seven days. If that does become itchy or red or irritated, then just ask the patient to take it off straight away.